Well, hey there, YouTube. I'd like to share with you now the smartest thing I've ever heard in my life. And I've never forgotten this, but first a little background. Uh, some of you know that I spent some time with uh, a group of Buddhists in my city. And these are real Buddhists. They are not like liberal douchebag Buddhists. They're th the real deal. Um, I, I myself am not a Buddhist um, because that's not my culture, but I went on a journey and I wanted to learn from other religions. So I, I, I spent time with uh, Muslims and Buddhists and Jews and, um, and of course I am a Christian. And I believe we, we have something to learn from every religion and every culture. And uh, the time I spent with the Buddhists was very good. I think I learned the most from them. And I'd, I would recommend uh, you to explore that if you're so inclined. But let me share with you the smartest thing I learned while I was there. This is the smartest thing I've ever heard in my life. And it's the three uh, types of wisdom in this world. There's three, you could think of it as three paths to wisdom or, or just three types of wisdom. The first one is the wisdom of experience. Now, this is the most common form of wisdom and, and you could even think of it as learning. Uh, you touch a hot stove and you burn your hand and you say, well, I won't do that again. And that's learning from experience. Problem is you're limited to your own experience and uh, you're not going to get very far based off of your own experience. It's very slow and it's very painful and it's kind of trial, uh, what they call trial and error. And you might, you might, uh, you, you might hurt yourself. So kind of the worst way to learn, but the most common way, the way most people learn is by experience. That's, and this is for people who learn at all. Some people don't even learn from their own experiences. And that's why we have, uh, you know, people who are drug addicts and all that. But, uh, for those who do learn, the most common way is to learn from experience, personal experience. There's a second kind of wisdom. And this is much better. Uh, it's not the best, but it, it's better. And this is the wisdom of observation. So I watched you touch a hot stove and burn your hand. And now I don't even have to, to do that. I saw you get hurt. And now I know not to touch a hot stove because I saw you get hurt. So I learned from your experience. And for most people, this is as good as it's going to get. If you have the power of observation, you can learn a lot just by looking around. Uh, the problem is you're limited to what you can see and what you can observe. But it's much better than learning from experience. And finally, the third way of wisdom is by thinking and this is the rarest of all because uh, you have to sit silently oftentimes by yourself and for long periods of time and you have to think about life and this is what the Buddhists are doing when they're meditating they're sitting silently for hours and thinking about life and that's how they get so wise. And the cool thing about that is it's absolutely limitless. You're, you're not limited by what you can see or what you can experience. You can go anywhere in your mind. And the faster and better you are at this, the clearer. That's why they spend that time. It's, they clear their head. They, they use special techniques to clear all distracting thoughts from their mind and it's and they're able to 
obtain a, uh, a wisdom. Uh, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard in my life. I thought I would pass that on to you. Um, if that if that brought any benefit to you, and I hope it did, please let me know. Well, that's it, guys. That is the smartest thing I ever heard, and I'll make a follow-up to this. Uh, or something else they taught me, and, and this has also been a great deal to me, but I'll share that in a different video.